What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name is Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I recommend queer books and I like to create fun bookish content. Today I am sharing with you my January book haul. So the first book I got I actually ordered in November and there was an issue with shipping and I got this book, Call Me Indian by Fred Sasakamus, forward by Brian Torter. And this is from the trauma of residential school to becoming the NHL's first treaty indigenous player. And I'm so excited. I've been wanting this since my one friend recommended it to me and then I just saw it everywhere. And I was like, I need to read it because I love reading books about hockey. I read this book right here. Um, Jordan Tutu, The Highs and Lows in the Journey of the First Inuit to Play in the NHL. And I actually read that in my hockey books reading vlog, so that'll be up above if you want to watch it. So since I read Jordan Tutu's book, I wanted to read another nonfiction from an Indigenous hockey player. I wanted to pick this up. I don't know when I'm going to get around to it, but I will get around to it this year and hopefully do a reading vlog for it. But if not, I'll just talk about it in a wrap up. But I'm excited for this. I actually ordered this from Birchbark Books, which is actually run by an Indigenous author, Louise Erdrich. And so I ordered this and then I was like, oh, shipping delays maybe just a supply chain issue and I waited a month <laughs> and I emailed them and I was like hey I never got my book I am totally fine with waiting because I'm probably not going to read this for a while but they said it was back ordered and totally forgot about me which was totally fine like they said that there was some issues going on where they were like short staffed and all so I was like honestly I don't care like take as long as you need to because I'm not going to be reading this for a while but I was very happy when it showed up in January but I'm excited to read this so look out for my wrap-ups and I'll talk about it or I'll do a reading vlog because I want to do more like hockey content. I just have been going through a lot and it's just hard. Motivation is hard. I talk about this more on my podcast but I just have trouble sticking with things so I was like, I'm going to do all these reading vlogs and guess what? Didn't happen. <laughs> Listen, it'll, it'll happen, but it'll take a little bit of time. Then I also am doing a video. So I'm hoping that this book call comes out after the video, but I'm still waiting for another thing to arrive for the video, but I will be as cryptic as I can. Unless the video goes up, then I'll just talk about it in like a separate clip in this video but I did a video where I ended up getting books <laughs> and here's what I got. So I ended up getting book of the month for the video <laughs> and I chose Fiona and Jane by Jean Chen Ho and I will talk more about my thoughts on book of the month in that video but this is a one-time thing. I will not be ordering from them again, but that is just because I'm not like a big subscription box person and I have enough books already. I don't need any more, but I got this along with that video. And after that, I saw a lot of people talking about it on Instagram. That's where I usually am. So if you want to follow me, I'm at Pucks and Paperbacks. This says a witty, warm, and irreverent book that traces the lives of two young Taiwanese American women as they navigate friendship, sexuality, identity, and heartbreak over two decades. I picked this up not knowing anything about it. And that is pretty cool. I'm excited to read it. Then for that video, I also got these. <laughs> I ended up getting Dry by Neil Schusterman and Jared Schusterman. I actually read Challenger Deep and I really enjoyed it. And my friend Alex from uh, Alexandra Ang, she really enjoys this book. So I knew that I had to keep it. I believe this is about like climate change or something like that or pollution, but don't quote me on that. 
It just says everyone's going to remember where they were when the taps went dry. The drought, or the tap out as everyone calls it, has been going on for a while now. Everyone's life has become an endless list of don'ts. Don't water the lawn, don't fill up your pool, don't take long showers. Until the tap runs dry. Suddenly, Alyssa's quiet suburban street spirals into a war zone of desperation. Neighbors and families turning against each other on the hunt for water. When her parents don't return, she and her brother are threatened. And Alyssa has to make impossible choices if she's going to survive. Critically acclaimed author Neil Schusterman teams up with Jared Schusterman for the story of survival when the California drought escalates to catastrophic proportions. Cool. Sounds good. Then this is a book that I picked up from the library and then I had to return because never read it. Story of my life. And this is Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Rachel Lynn Solomon. And I... I don't want to say it's an enemies. It is. It is an enemies to lovers. And I wanted to read one and I've seen this book all around and I just knew I needed it. And so when I did that video and the book showed up, I was like, I need it. It's a YA contemporary also. I also got this. This is The Field Guide to the North American Teenager by Ben Philippe. And I have always been wanting to read this book because I know it has hockey. <laughs> I don't think it has like a lot of hockey, but I do know that this is about a black French Canadian who has been recently plunked into Austin, Texas. Against all odds, he finds himself with a love interest, a new potential best friend, and what happens to be a budding ice hockey team. Will he give in and start living his life and maybe even groan, enjoy it? Or will he blow it all by being well? Norris. That's the main character's name, Norris. And I've always known that this has hockey in it. I was going to read it for my readathon one year and I didn't. And so when I was doing that video and it showed up, I was like, I have to keep it. And last is I Killed Zoe Spanos by Kit Frick. And this is a thriller. I don't know too much about it. Oh, there's a podcast element. Um, So it is about a girl named Anna who finds out that this girl named Zoe has been missing since New Year's Eve and she feels like she's connected in some way and then it says two months later Zoe's body is found in a nearby lake and Anna is charged with manslaughter but Anna's confession is riddled with holes and Martina Green teen host of the Missing Zoe podcast isn't satisfied did Anna really kill Zoe and if not can Martina's podcast uncover the truth that sounds really good. And last book, oh actually no, there's two more books. Um, I actually received a book from a subscriber, so thank you to D. Dan for sending me Mon Girls by Stephen Graham Jones. I'm so excited. This was off my Amazon wish list, so thank you so much. I was so surprised when I got this in the mail. If you ever want to send me a book, my Amazon wish list is always linked down below, but don't feel like you have to. Your support is enough just by liking the videos and subscribing and watching all the way to the end. That is all I can ask for. So this I have been wanting for a while. I did have it on my library and I always was putting it off. So now that I own it, this will be a priority to read it. I'm excited. I know it's about werewolves and that's it. But thank you again to D Dan for sending me this. Last, I went to a thrift store. There's this really big thrift store in my area. It's like 21 minutes away and it is huge. And I always get good book deals there. I ended up getting a map to the sun there for 99 cents. And that is the best thing. So I got The Mouse and the Motorcycle by Beverly Cleary. She is my favorite author as well she was my favorite author as a kid and I read her book Ramona and Beezus for a video so that'll be linked up above and this is a nostalgic book I would like to reread it because I don't really remember a lot about it. In high school I volunteered in a third grade classroom I believe and I actually read this book to them so I have some memories attached with it but I remember when I would go to the library at school in elementary school I would always pick up a Beverly Cleary book. She was one of my favorites so I decided to pick this up for my collection and to just reread it one day. And that's it. Those are all the books that I got in January. If you've read any of these, let me know in the comments. And if you're new here, feel free to hit subscribe because I do book hauls and 
library halls together sometimes. I haven't been to the library because I am kind of like banning myself because I got a library fine and I just need to not go to the library as much because I already have books here, but I have been using like Hoopla and stuff. So that is like the bulk of my library usage, but I am banning myself for the moment from going because I end up getting all of these books and then I get a fine because I haven't read them and I just don't want to do that to myself. <laughs> Before I go, I forgot a book that was sent to me by Macmillan and this is that's Betty, the story of Betty White. It comes out on February 22nd. It's a picture book and it is everything. I was so surprised and glad that they reached out to me for this book because it is the coolest thing ever. I love everything about it. It is about a boy who has to do a presentation on a trailblazing woman and he picks Betty White and it's just all about Betty White's life. I love the illustration. I love everything about it and so if you were a fan of Betty White as well and you want this book I'll have a link down below and I just love it. I'm so excited to have it and I I'm excited to just post about it because it is so cool. It also has characters of color which I really enjoy and it is just everything. I really like this because it is a way for kids to learn about Betty White but in a relatable way. I think this would also be a really good book for teachers so if you're teaching about like influential people or you just want to teach about Betty White I think this is a really good book so like I said it'll be linked down below but I just think it's awesome so thank you again to Macmillan Kids for sending me this and back to the video. Hello this video is not quite over yet because I forgot the most important book that I bought in January. Icebreaker by A.L. Grazia Day. I've already read this, reviewed it, and loved it. So if you want to know more of my thoughts, you can go and watch my January wrap-up where I talk about it. But in short, it is about Jason and Mickey. They are in their freshman year of college on the hockey team, and they both are trying to make it to be the number one draft pick in the NHL. And it is a great conversation about mental health, hockey culture, we have a bisexual main character, there's polyamory rep, there is great representation just overall. It is a great queer book and I just loved it a lot. So like I said, you can go and watch my January wrap up to find more. I will be doing a vlog. I have vlog footage. That vlog will hopefully be out in March. I. I just have a lot going on but I wanted to include this because I loved it a lot. Now on to the outro. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and feel free to hit subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss a video. If you want to see more bookish things from me you can follow me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks and I have a podcast. It is called Reader Rambles. I post new episodes every Monday but if you're a patron you can have access to episodes early every Sunday. You can also listen on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, but if you need captions, I always have a captioned video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.